Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time stopping by seeing one of my videos. I am so excited to have each and every single one of you here today for this ultimate clean with me. We are gonna be tackling a bunch of messes today. We are gonna focus on the kitchen, cleaning downstairs, and we are gonna clean all of the bathrooms, which is kind of an accomplishment <laughs> for me. I hope that you guys get a ton of cleaning motivation from this video and I hope that it gives you a ton of cleaning inspiration. I'm going to be sharing the products that I am using, my favorite cleaning tips and hacks with you guys, and I am also going to be sharing a new piece of furniture that I bought and I would really love your opinion on whether or not it looks good and I should keep it. So today we are going to work on the downstairs first. This is the mess that we are working with today. It is not the messiest house on the block, but it definitely needs some TLC and some serious love. So we are going to take care of just that today and get this house back to new and looking nice and clean again. So we are gonna start downstairs in the downstairs bathroom. Then we are gonna work our way through the kitchen, cleaning up the living room, and then we will work on the bathrooms upstairs. So I hope that you guys enjoy this and get a ton of cleaning motivation. If you are ready to get to cleaning, give this video a thumbs up. And if this is your first time here, do not forget to stick around and subscribe. So today, let's kick this off by cleaning up the downstairs bathroom. These are the products that I'm gonna be using, the Fantastic Multi-Surface Disinfectant and Degreaser and the Clorox Cleaning Bleach Gel on the toilet. Whenever I am cleaning the toilet, I make sure that I spray the floor around the toilet as well to get up anything that may have missed the potty that does not belong on the floor. So I always make sure to wipe up the floor with any cleaner that I am using, even if I plan to mop the floors. Also going to empty the trash and use this up and up version of a Lysol spray it's a disinfectant spray and I like to spray that in the trash cans whenever I empty them and now we are going to move on to cleaning up the mirror and the sink and I'm just using the up and up version of a Windex spray glass cleaner on the mirror and I'm using that same degreaser and disinfectant spray to wipe everything down and just using a pink microfiber cloth I will keep on trying to you give me a sign give me a sign Oh, give me a sign. I have a question for you plant lovers out there. Okay, so I have the worst luck with orchids. If you have any tips for keeping them alive and keeping them beautiful, please let me know down below or if you can tell what I'm doing wrong just by looking at it, please let me know. I love orchids so much. I think that they are so beautiful, but I always end up killing them and they don't ever last very long in my house. So if you have any tips for keeping them alive, please let me know in the comments. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Thank you ahead of time. And now we are gonna move on to taking care of the kitchen. We are gonna put away dishes that are in the drying rack. We are gonna put the plants away that are in the sink. They were watered. It was plant watering day, taking care of my plant babies, except the orchid. I can never figure out how to take care of those. I love them so much. But the other plants are thriving and doing well, so we're gonna put the dishes away and then we are also going to put the plants up where they belong. Could go for this, no more trip. While I am up here putting my plants away, I am also going to clean up the top of the refrigerator and get that all dusted off. I have a bunch of stuff up here that doesn't necessarily belong up there, but I keep it up high to keep it away from my kids. I was borrowing cameras from my friends. I actually borrowed a camera from one of my YouTube friends on here. Monica, thank you so much for letting me use your camera. You are a lifesaver. But we are gonna clean up the top of the refrigerator. We're just gonna dust everything off. I'm not gonna get too crazy with the cleaning up here, but just make sure it's all nice and dust free. So give me a sign. Give me a sign. Give me a sign, baby. Give me a 
I'm going to be using this NBD Plant Power Multi-Purpose Cleaner. It smells really great and I'm just going to be using this to wipe down my counters and pretty much any surface that I can use it on. I am not going to be using it on my stainless steel, but I am going to use it on the counters and get them all nice and cleaned up and nice and shiny and get all of the crumbs off of everything and any dust that may have settled on the countertops. Just give me a sign. Just give me a sign. also going to be cleaning the stove up today just because crumbs have settled on it and there's dust settled on it because we had gone on vacation so the house definitely needs some love and I am going to be using a butter knife wrapped with a microfiber cloth to clean the sides of the stove I actually learned this trick from my friend Whitney she is also a youtuber on here and I learned it watching one of her videos and it works so well to get in those small spaces and I am also going to be using glass cleaner to clean my black stove top. This is a great way to clean the stove top without leaving streaks behind. It gets rid of the grease and the grime really well. up today I am just going to be using some blue dawn dish soap and I'm also going to be using that to wash this grate that we have in our sink to try to protect it from getting scratched and it does a really great job at doing so we do still have some scratches in our sink but nothing like they would be without this grate so if you have a stainless steel sink I highly recommend getting something to protect the bottom of your sink but blue dawn dish soap works great at cleaning pretty much everything up in the sink so we're just going to use that today and then I'm also going to make sure to wipe everything down really well after I've rinsed it why it's hard to understand Say what you wanna say I wanna hear it but I don't understand why you feel so emotional Do what you have to do Break the things around you but I don't understand why you feel so emotional Say what you wanna say I wanna hear it but I don't I've recently been asked a ton how our epoxy countertops are holding up. So if you are one of those people who has asked, I'll give you a little update right here. They are holding up pretty well. We do have some spots that have yellowed and I'm not exactly sure what has caused the yellowing. Maybe it's just because the countertops are so white that they have yellowed or maybe it's the urethane top coat that we used on them that was recommended by the company that we used. But they have yellowed in some spots. They've held up really well as far as scratches go. I am not gentle with the countertops and there are only very, very slight, very minor scratches on the countertops. 
and you can only see them in certain lighting. We do have a couple of spots that have stained on the countertops and I couldn't tell you what that stain is from, but there are a few spots that have stained and they haven't held up as well as I thought that they would, but they have held up pretty well considering how rough I am on them and the fact that we have two little kids and we just honestly don't try to protect them. The only thing that I really do to try to avoid hurting them is keeping heat off of them. The only thing that goes on there is a hot plate of food or a hot cup of coffee. Okay, and so to clean my stainless steel appliances today, I'm using the Wyman Stainless Steel Spray. This stuff is so good. I've been using it for years, and I highly, highly recommend it if you are looking for a stainless steel cleaner. Let's tackle this living room. We are gonna get everything straightened up. Luckily, there is not a ton of toys that need to be cleaned up today, unlike my recent videos. So we're gonna tackle everything, get it all cleaned up. And as soon as I went to go put the couch cushions back on, I realized that there were a ton of crumbs everywhere. So I am using my Shark Rocket vacuum to get those all nice and cleaned up before we start putting this couch back together. World Market recently had their friends and family sale. It was 30% off and you got an extra 10% off if you did curbside pickup. And I had been eyeballing this side table, this accent table for so long. So I pulled the trigger and I got it, but I don't know if I love it. So let me know what you guys think down below. Do you think it's too small? Do you think it's too short? The color isn't what I was expecting. And I don't know. I want your opinion. Help me out. Do you think it should go to the left of the couch? Do you think it should go to the right of the couch? Or do you think it should go back to World Market? I really loved the look of it because I really love the modern farmhouse, like boho farmhouse, boho kind of look. Not necessarily like standard farmhouse. So 
Let me know what you guys think about this piece. Should it go by the plant? Should the plant move away from it? I honestly could not decide. So if you have any decorating tips, I'm not super decor oriented, please let me know down below. They would be greatly appreciated. Now we are gonna make our way upstairs. We're gonna vacuum the stairs and then we are gonna move on to cleaning up the upstairs bathroom because that is all I had time for today because I've got two kiddos and we are trying the whole distance learning thing. Are you guys doing distance learning, homeschooling? What are you guys all doing? What is going on where you live for school? We are trying the distance learning thing. We're gonna give it a go and see how it goes because I don't know, I just, I don't know. This year is kind of funky. Anyways, we're gonna clean the bathroom now and I'm gonna start by cleaning up the toilet. There's a ton of toothpaste everywhere that needs to be cleaned up. We need to clean the toilet. We need to clean the bathtub. We're just gonna get this bathroom all nice and cleaned up because like I mentioned before, we had gone on vacation. My mom had been here visiting before that. So everything's just been super chaotic in our house. So let's get to cleaning up the bathroom. We're gonna clean up the toys, pick up all of the toys and get everything back in order. Don't talk about it like you're crazy. You know damn well I can't replace I am wiping toothpaste off the cabinets just using some water and a damp cloth and we're just going to try to get the toothpaste off of these. When I painted these cabinets I did not use cabinet enamel so I need to repaint the cabinets because they've chipped but just using a damp cloth to dust everything especially these black hardware in the bathroom works really really well at dusting and you're also not having the dust flying all over the place if you are doing wet dusting or damp dusting with a damp cloth. We can go to figure out what we've done, what we need, what to do Yeah, I got you, I got you, I got you The way you look at me is absent It's like you're walking through a labyrinth I am going to be using that same fantastic disinfectant and degreaser spray that I use downstairs. I'm using most of the same products that I used in the downstairs bathroom and both of the upstairs bathrooms as well. So we are just going to wipe everything down and then I'm gonna be using a new cleaner in the bathtub that I will show you guys in just a minute. When I say, when I say I quit, it's all because it hurts. We got play, we got places we can go to figure out what we've done, what we need, what to do. I got you, I got you, I got you Don't play me Cause you're pushing me away Don't say to me That we'll talk another day Cause my phone, my phone I'm gonna put my glove on and we are gonna get to cleaning in the bathtub using the CLR Bath and Kitchen Foaming Action Cleaner in a fresh scent. And we are gonna use this in the bathtub. It did not remove the rust stains in the bathtub like I kind of hoped it would, but it did do a very, very superb job of getting rid of the hard water spots on all of the hardware in there. So I highly recommend this product if you are somebody who has hard water like I do and it did a really great job at breaking up the soap scum so the bathtub was all nice and clean and everything that was chrome or silver was nice and shiny again we got places we can go to figure out what we've done what we need what to do and just like any other product that I use in the bathtub, especially the kids' bathtub, I make sure to rinse everything really thoroughly so nobody is sitting in any cleaning products. Time to clean up my bathroom. I'm going to get all of the water spots, hair, and all the makeup and everything off of the countertops. As you can see, we are mid-bathroom makeover. It has kind of taken a back seat because of vacations, trying to wrap up summer and starting distance learning, but I promise you we will get that done as soon as possible. I'm going to try to crank it out as fast as I can and get that done for you guys, and I cannot wait to get it finished. As you can see, my bathroom looks like a construction zone, so we need to get that taken care of, so be on the lookout for the bathroom makeover, hopefully in the next two weeks. Anyways, we're gonna clean up this bathroom for starters and we are gonna get everything all nice and cleaned up. I am using the same products that I used in the last bathroom to get this bathroom all nice and clean. And I'm gonna show you guys just what I'm talking about when I say that that CLR cleaner worked really, really great at getting everything all nice and shiny in the bathtub again.
So as you can see, there's a bunch of hard water spots that are really hard to get off when I'm cleaning the bathtub just using my regular cleaner. So I'm just gonna spray this stuff on there. It is Foaming Action Cleaner, so it's getting all foamy. And I'm gonna show you exactly what it looked like afterwards. And it is so much shinier, you guys. I cannot believe it. Even the little drain in the bottom of the bathtub was shiny, which is never the case whenever I clean the bathtub. So if you are looking for something to break up hard water spots and soap scum, I highly recommend this product. I hope this video has gotten you super motivated to take care of any cleaning project that you may have on your to-do list for today. Thank you guys so much for being here and spending time out of your busy schedule to hang out with me and watch this video. It truly means the world to me and I am so lucky to have you all here. Thank you so, so, so much. And if this is your first time here and you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button and stick around for tons of cleaning motivation every single week. Give this video a thumbs up and come say hi in the comments if you haven't already done so. If you need some more cleaning motivation or wanna check out my kitchen makeover video, click on one of those up here on this screen and I will catch you guys in the next video. Have an amazing day. Get it, get it